this is called Dale Milova Ros Hledna. This is the parking area. I'm here on a Saturday morning and it's quite deserted really. There are a few cars but not too many and this is a, a very new tower. In fact it's an interesting tower because it won the Tower of the Year award in 2021 for the Czech Republic and we're going to go there. The walk is about 1.4 kilometers up this track here. On to the last section and the first glimpse and there it is. There's the tower in the distance. So the tower itself is 33 meters tall. Uh, it has a 17 meter lower viewing gallery, which you can have a look from, and a higher viewing gallery at 28 meters high. Uh, to get up to the top, there are 168 steps in total. So this tower is in fact a replica of a tower that stood in a place called Snezhnik. And that tower stood from 1899 until 1973, I think it was, yeah. And it was then destroyed because it was unsafe. It was actually pulled down. The tower is in fact privately owned, so it's not a state ownership type of thing. Uh, you have to pay to go in it and it has a modern ticket machine in the foyer. 120 crowns per person and it's open from 9 o'clock in the morning to 5 p.m. every day. Yeah, all the way to the top. And back down again. So it's got a wrought iron uh, handrail around the outside and they are granite stone steps as we can see here. There, granite stone. There's a small, say, gap every, let's say, 20 steps or so. Uh, there's a room here which uh, is sort of curved ceiling to it with a view below. We have double doors, wooden doors, and we go in here. This has got pillars in a circular fashion like that. There are some windows here. This is a view out on the first viewing gallery. And of course it's windier out here, so I'll speak up. We can see a ski resort over there in the distance. And uh, the hills over there, mountains. So not much more to go now. You can see the top of it there. And that's where we're gonna go. Uh, back through the door and up the steps again. At this point here, the actual stairs change to wrought iron. As you can see here, uh, metal wrought iron, black metal. And that's the final part. These are a little bit narrower, these steps, but still enough room for people to pass on. And we can see them up there. This is the last step here. There we go. And I'm out on the upper viewing gallery of this tower. And there we go. There's the top of it. It's got a nice metal protection barrier all around it here. Uh, just one thing which is unfortunate, they don't have any signs around this tower viewing gallery which tell you what you can see in the distance. So unless you have a map or you're using your phone uh, map system or sa satellite navigation, it's difficult to actually say what we can see in the distance. Oh look, there's a bee having a rest. We're not far from the Polish border here. Uh, it's almost on the edge. Uh, in the northern part of the Czech Republic. In this direction we can see Olitska Hory, which is a mountain range. Uh, now the wind is picking up, sorry about that. In this direction we can see the Jezeniki mountain range. There. Nice, and you can see the walk to it there. There's the path which we came up, which goes in a loop down that way and then back over there. 
to the parking area. So actually the layout of the tower is that you walk up the smaller tower first of all and then you transfer across to the larger tower. So there are in fact two staircases within it. to the turnstiles again. I'm not sure which one is out though. There's a very nice cafe inside. Dabrina. Yeah. Which sells obviously lots of snacks, beers, soft drinks. So all in all, I think it's quite a nice tower. But for me, it doesn't have the character of older towers. It's nice, it's a lovely walk to get up here, uh, but probably not the best tower in the Czech Republic in my opinion, but still come and visit it, it's worth it, goodbye.